Okay. Let's go ahead and get our fella dressed up here. Um, what am I doing? I'm in Tallenburg right now. Heading out of town. Got business to take care of. Also need to fix some of my gear. Had a few fights. It looks pretty good. Weaponry, ash bow. Better piercing arrows and my St. George's sword. Okay. That's decent. I'm really hungry. So we'll go find some food first. That's decent. Good day to you. What do you need? I'm interested in your uh, services. And what is it you'd like? I've uh, heard you have nice girls here. As you wish. Do you have the coin? Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Good luck there. I was slightly injured, I must have been. Good fella. That's my uh, boy. Look what I've got for you. 
You'll love this. Good. These are still good, in good shape. So good. Um, let's take a look at our cobbler. Yes. Fighting them down there, you see. I have to make sure they're fighting before I get in too close. Guards could win this. What have we got here? I don't have my I haven't got my work clothes on, do I? Good way to get killed. Get in a fight with these guys, they're gonna kill you. Yikes, I'm so prepared. <laughs> getting into a fight here. You definitely want to do this. <clears throat> Those two guards are 
chasing that bandit all the way over there. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Don't weak at the knee. That's about it. Black shield, hold on a second. They say you just don't know whether it's worth picking up until you pick it up, right? It's only 53. Drop. That guy hit me a few times, didn't he? What kind of sword you got there? Master Huntsman sword. That's a guard. that away.
park with the horse there. Well, we got bad guys up here. them over here. That guy coming down this way? Bring it on. Ah! 
No, don't do that. This one. Oh, he doesn't have much. A little money. Some arrows. Got too many hairs. Sorry, dude. He's coming down, you see that? Guy in black. Come down here, though. <clears throat> wow, look at that. Oh, shoot. He's got a lot of burger swords. Like he was. Also got a whole bunch of burger swords. Crazy. What are they carrying those things for? I can't really do with anything with all this stuff. You can't spread. Of course I can, because I got burger swords on. Crazy amount of burger swords. I can sell all of those though. Probably make a good deal of money. I think there's that guy that 
sits right there. think that I can go up in there. There's still plenty of people up there. Oops. Shoot. I'm stuck. I'm hung. So it was you, you son of a bitch. Is that all you've got? Silly, isn't it? He can't hit me. I can't hit him either. Ah! Ouch! He hit me that time, but he he got hit too. This is Warcock. I remember him. Hey, Warcock, where's your good stuff? He's got a burger sword on him. Better piercing arrow, better long distance arrows. He's got 1,100 of them. Okay. Uh, let's just see if we can't. Arrows. Of course, can't carry that much stuff. Still way overweight. Man, oh man. What is a horse carrying? Just everything he can't carry anymore. I can't. I can't do any more damage to these guys. Be able to carry all this loot out of here. Get out of here. Let's get out of here the fast way. Yeah. Carrying way too much stuff. Let's, let's beat a course to Tomberg straight through if we can. So we're going to be heading south easterly.
Humble greetings. How may I serve you? Piercing. That's five thousand right there, just for all those uh, those swords. That's it. Okay. I'd like to discuss the price. Hmm, all right, so. Here, with a little something on top for a good measure. Thanks a thousand times. I'm still carrying a load of stuff by looking at my... Anyway, why is that? I didn't sell him everything I had. Take care. I still got stuff. Oh wait, this is not... This is sell. I'm still way overweight here. something. These arrows, for sure. That was 
it. That was the only thing I needed to get rid of. <coughs> Let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. Here, with a little something on top for a good measure. My word, thank you kindly. Another trip up there, or should we go tell Sir Razik that that they're softened up enough? We should be able to take him out with a small force.
I think they're all active and ready to go, aren't they? Ow! Watch where you're going, you lout! You need to kill me! There's people walking here! My goodness. Horses here, so they must be here someplace. Everybody just kind of just laying out here. Okay, Sir Isaac's right there. Who's this guy? Good health to you. Is there someone here who can compete with me in archery? Sure. There's always arrows flying here. First, I'll explain the rules to you. You shoot 7, 13, or 21 arrows, depending on who you're shooting against. The straw surround is worth one point, the white ring two, and the bullseye three. Whoever finishes shooting first gets three extra points. The round ends when everyone has finished shooting, and whoever has the most points wins. It's the custom to wager on it. Hmm. To make it more interesting, see? The better the archers you shoot against, the higher the stakes. All right. That seems straightforward. Uh, just one more thing. Don't leave while the contest is underway, and never aim or shoot at anything but the target. Otherwise, you're out. Got it? Got it. How good are you with the bow? So I can find you a suitable opponent. I reckon I can take on the best. Bold words. Well, we'll see. We'll see. The best archers shoot 21 arrows. Splendid! Here's some arrows for you. But you can use your own if you want. Meanwhile, I'll round up the competition. Take care. You may begin.
End of game! Henry is the victor! God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements, and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. And I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defense. Quite a few of them there. Perdition. We'll definitely need reinforcements. I think the Talmberg men should suffice. I don't like leaving the castle unprotected, but there's no other option. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them, but underestimating the enemy can be fatal. There aren't just bandits in the camp. There are Cumans, too. Quite a few of them. Cumans, you say? Where the hell did they come from? Could Sigismund have left them there after he raised Scalitz? This is looking more and more serious. I took a look at their arms and armor. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? There's a few of them, and they're positioned well. If we charge them head-on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. They're up to something in the middle of the camp. It looked like they were making several long ladders. Ladders? That sounds like they're planning a siege. I like this less and less. On the other hand, we can use that to our advantage. If we can capture those ladders, we can use them to scale their own fortifications. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? I managed to destroy some of their arrow supplies, so they'll have less ammunition. Well done. That's just what we need. 
I managed to slip poison to a few of them. They should be too sick to fight. You're as cunning as a fox. We need more like you. That's all, sir. Everybody keeps handing me money. Don't worry, Henry. You've proven yourself an excellent spy. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Talmberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell him to take all his men. Leave only the bare minimum at the castle and march to Pribislavitz. I'll take everyone but for one or two sentries. Hopefully together we'll have enough men to defeat them. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. We've no time to spare. God be with you. Good luck, man. See what I need to do here. Probably need to head back out the way. Humbert. this guy gonna make me fight him may I have your attention for a moment we've met before haven't we we have and I defeated you in combat. No doubt you would like a chance of reprisal. Have you still got that armor that doesn't fit you? Ha! You haven't disappointed me. I quite understand. You won't fight just for the sake of it. But you'll have to wager some silver. Otherwise, what would be the point? 
All right. Why not? I'm glad to hear it. Let's get to it then. is a wager, so pay up. <laughs> okay, nice. Got me bleeding. Oh, you're kidding. No, I can't do that. I'm too damaged to be going through a fight right now. Let's see. See that stuff crossing the road back there? I hope they don't go out this direction, but there was something crossing the road. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah.
Greetings. What do you need? Sir Radzik sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzig wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands. More like a small army in a fortified encampment. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzig wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzig is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzik said to take all your men and leave only a minimum guard at the castle. What? Everyone? There really are a lot of them, Sir Divish. He's leaving the camp almost empty, too. We're to go and join his people in Pribislavitz and mount an assault together. All right, then. Sir Radzik knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you lead my men there right now? Yes, sir. May God be with you in battle. Goodbye. Sir Radzik. I'm glad to see you, Captain Robard. I hope Henry's explained everything to you. He did, but I find it hard to believe. Who could possibly put together such a significant military force, and right under our noses? We'll just have to find out, but I don't think we will until after a battle. If we don't deal with them now, who knows what they'll be capable of in a week or two. I agree entirely, my lord. What's the plan? Right, lad. We're almost at the place you described. Now we'll have to advance cautiously. I need you to tell me how it looks around the camp so I can decide which side to lead the attack from. There are three ways to get in. Directly along the straight path to the camp, the long way round through the woods and over an old weir, or by a narrow bridge over a deep ditch. Let's start with the direct route. That sounds like the easiest approach. How does it look there? That path leads round their battlements. It's fortified and patrolled. The chances are they'd shower us with arrows on the way. It's a good thing you're here, Henry. We'll have to try another way, then. What about the approach through the woods and the weir? I don't like the idea of marching such a long way over rough ground, but it's, it's the better option. It's a long way through the woods, and there are patrols there as well. They'll call the alarm before we reach the camp. I thought so. What about the last approach, over the bridge? It's a bit narrow for my liking. It's narrow, all right, but once we get over, we can quickly occupy the best ground for a battle. We only have to take down a few archers. The battleground sounds inviting, but that bridge and the archers... It's not an easy decision. Each option has its pros and cons. I try to answer to the best of my ability, sir. And you'll be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is the best option. If we're fast, we'll have the advantage. With the help of God, we'll win this day. Approach from the south and storm them over the bridge. Form up. Forward march.
There's more of them coming from below! What the hell? So you're fighting! Defend this fucking hill! Get ready to defend! What the fuck are you on about? What's... Hang on. You're the... Fuck me. I thought we left you to the crows. Tough little fucker, eh? What did you do with my sword? Judging by our last encounter, I'd say you made a big mistake coming here. Where's my fucking sword? But then again, maybe you've had some practice. I hope so, because last time was too easy.
we have taken him alive, the executioner might have gotten more out of him. Oh well, these things happen in the heat of battle. Anyway, we found a trunk full of coin down below. Someone was paying this gang very well. There were some of Sigismund's barbarians among them. I don't think we've seen the last of this. Whoever engineered it was highly placed. They won't give up after one defeat. This louse was just a pawn. I'm afraid you're right, sir. Well, lad, we live to fight another day, eh? That's the fear leaving you, lad. Let it go. Now, put it all behind you. A decent Christian shouldn't dwell on such horrors. I beg to differ, sir. I never want to forget this. The time has come for those whore sons to pay for what they did to us. You're right, my boy. But first, we all need some rest. We'll meet later in the upper castle in Ratte, and then decide what to do next. Come what may, you did a good job today. Those are going to have to be fixed. I'm in round 10. That should be easy enough. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and stop here and, and pick this up. And the next day, well, the next day is obviously daylight outside, but the next video.